they sort of called me into the passport office to find out why my name was different on the passport application form to my birth certificate. And I had to tell them, couldn't tell you. I've got no idea. We had to get my mother in to explain why. And uh, then she said, well, Bill, your dad isn't your real dad. You had a different father. That day and age, people kept things to themselves and they were embarrassed, although it wasn't their fault, you know, it happens. And they seemed to wipe things out of their mind. Jeanette did eventually emigrate to New Zealand with her family, but she couldn't put this discovery about her past behind her. In 2006, she went back to her mother and pleaded for more information. It was then that Elsie revealed that she was in possession of a newspaper article about her father. Her mother was taken ill and she came and lived with us. And one day she said, you know, hey, can I repay you for your kindness of having me living here? And I said, well, for a start, you can give me the piece of newspaper cutting that you've never let anybody have so that Jeanette can start chasing to see if she can find her birth family. Amazingly, Jeanette's mother, Elsie, had lived for 61 years with a family secret concealed in her purse. And it was the key to Jeanette's search for her father. It was dated no November the 12th, 1947, for trial on bigamy charge. Jeanette's father had been married to two women at the same time and had been sent to jail for these bigamous relationships. We did start with a, a search of the death records and did establish uh, a match. Uh, they came up for where my father was born, what age he was, who his parents was, and they said, I'm sorry to inform you, but he has passed away. Uh, we have sent off for a death certificate for him, and as soon as we get that, we'll send it on to you. With a death certificate, Jeanette knew there must be a signatory. A couple of weeks ago, uh, I was sorry, I received a, a phone call from my nieces. Um, and she said, are you sitting down? And of course, when you hear that straight away, you think, oh gosh, you know. And she said, I've had a letter. Um, and she read the letter on the phone to me. And I was stunned, but delighted, absolutely delighted. So she gave me the number and I phoned the number that night. The phone went. And the lady on the end <sighs> said, is that your dad? So I said, yes. She said, it's your sister, Lewis. <sighs> I couldn't talk to her, so I passed the phone over to Len. <laughs> that was the start of finding the family. 